Think of superbikes in your mind as instantly transported to pictures of racetracks, wheelies, knee-down action, slides and shredded tires. After all, that's a superbike's primary purpose in life, setting fast lap times and winning races. Naturally, you wouldn't choose one to go touring on. Or would you? Because, here's the thing, modern superbikes are made possible only by smart electronics. With the amount of power available to the back wheel, you can't make do only with the skill in your right hand to pilot one safely. Instead, you need microchips second-guessing every input to smooth things out and keep you on the straight and narrow. The result of all this electronic wizardry? Faster lap times, even more Larry bikes and brilliantly entertaining racing. And, er, even better road bikes. Yes, really. While the electronics work superbly on the track, they also work just as well on the road in everyday situations. Ducati's Panigle V4S might be a superbike, but it's got far more road-going ability than you might think. It's stuffed to the brim with ones, zeros and other subtle tricks to make it livable with day-to-day, -day, so maybe you can use it as your daily ride. Here's why we think you can. The electronic suspension is incredible years ago. Electronic rider aids were primitive and largely considered a hindrance. They got in the way and generally felt like solutions looking for problems. Now, that's no longer the case. Every mile is safer, faster, more confident and comfier. To the latter point, one of the biggest developments has been electronically controlled and adjusted suspension. Full and Smart EC 2.0 electronic suspension, available only on the S and Special models, is the star of the Panigle V4S's show. It completely transforms the ride from a wrist and spine shattering experience to a smooth, comfortable one. Bumps, potholes and ripples disappear and it reacts to your throttle, brake and lean inputs. In road mode, it's so supple that you'd almost think you were riding an upright naked bike. Once you've found your favorite fast roads, firming it up into sport mode is only a few menu options away and if it's still not quite to your liking, an intuitive graphical. Display allows you to quickly adjust its behavior without having to reach for a set of spanners or understand terms like preload or rebound. Copyright Alberto Servetti's surprisingly comfy dot for a superbike. Plonk your backside in the saddle and you'll immediately notice, compared to its predecessor, that the Panigle V4 is physically a much wider machine. As a result of the extra girth, your thighs have more to grip onto in your back, stomach, shoulders and arms have less work to do. Likewise, when banked over in a corner, there's more body work to hook your knee around for more confidence. You'll also notice that the Panigle V4 is pretty roomy. Rider Triangle, as it's known, is not too extreme. Allow us to explain in simple terms, three points on any bike, foot pegs, seat, handlebars, form a triangle and the bigger and more relaxed the triangle, the comfier the bike. Your ankles don't end up touching your backside and your elbows don't touch your knees, thus increasing comfort and allowing you to cover much bigger distances between rest stops. In conjunction with widely set clip-ons, the not-too-extreme rider triangle and wider fairing helps keep fatigue at bay, opening up the possibility of longer rides and even medium-distance touring. Yet, to look at, you wouldn't know, it's still a superbike, albeit comfier than it has any right to be. Touring in the Pyrenees, copyright Bob Williams It's completely effortless superbikes typically deliver all of their performance right at the top of the rev range and the Panigle V4 is no different. 11,000 revolutions per minute onwards is a complete blur and one of the most visceral, rampant experiences you can have on two wheels. But it has so much more than just top end. With its big bore 1,103cc capacity, it's got endless amounts of thick, gloopy, mid-range power and torque and 5,000 revolutions per minute is where things starts to get interesting. There's so much accessible thrust on offer that most road riding isn't going to see you go much further north of 8,000 revolutions per minute unless you really fancy sending the front wheel skywards. All of this grunt makes road riding stupidly easy.
You simply don't need to work the engine to tap into what it's capable of and it'll surge forwards with grin-inducing acceleration for overtakes and sprints between corners without any need to even bother changing gear. And just like the electronic suspension enhances the comfort levels, the bidirectional quick shifter adds untold amounts of ease to riding the V4. It's the best in the business with a brilliant lever feel and a seemingly telepathic ability to never miss a gear or change with a clunk. It's faultless and frees up so much extra brain space to think about other aspects of riding. As happy on the road as on the track, copyright Bob Williams, Ducati Panigle V4S verdict. These three aspects really transform what would otherwise be an awkward superbike into one that's far easier to live with than you might think. BMW's S1000RR is often seen as the benchmark in versatile superbikes, and it still claims that spot, but not by anywhere as near as much as it used to. The question, then, is what does the Panigle V4 need to close the gap? The